Hi, my name is Kate Manser. I am an author, inspirer, meditation teacher, and spiritual guide. I am also embarking this year on a grand adventure. I bought an RV. I'm living out on the road full time, and I'm also starting to, for the first time ever, go all in on entrepreneurship. It is scary as hell. There have been so many ups and downs, which is why I decided to share my experience with you via this YouTube channel. So this is the first of, I don't know how many videos I'll make, where I'm sharing my experience with you as the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, life on the road, and who knows what will come out of this, really. The truth is that I don't exactly know why I'm on the road, but it comes back to intuition and a series of three messages that I got over the past several months. And the first one came when I was vacuuming. So you know how when you're doing tasks that require a certain amount of brain power in one direction, you suddenly get new ideas and inspiration and messages from God or the universe? This could be like driving, taking a shower, or in my case, vacuuming. So I don't know, four or six months ago, I was vacuuming my place and this word, clear as a bell, popped into my mind, peripatetic. I had never actually heard this word before. I didn't even know the definition, but that word continued to echo in my mind all day long. Peripatetic, peripatetic, peripatetic. And Webster said peripatetic means someone who travels from place to place working along the way. Hmm. Okay. I noted that I am a traveler at heart. And so this definitely struck a chord with me, but I didn't too think too much of it. Well, a couple of months later, I had a reading from my medium, and she said, also clear as day, she said, Kate, I see you on the road, traveling around, meeting new people, working from place to place, you're doing a lot of things online, and it's kind of like you're Frances McDormand in the movie Nomadland. Okay, <laughs> that word peripatetic popped in my head right when she said that because that is exactly what it means. Okay, two messages, two signs. Then at the end of 2021, I got the biggest sign of all or rather the most undeniable force to have me change my life, which is that in December, in the span of about 30 days, I ended my job at the place that I was working, I ended the relationship that I was in, and had to leave the place that I was living. So here we are, Kate, starting 2022, totally fresh, no job, no relationship, and need a new place to live. That word popped up in my mind peripatetic. That message that I got from the medium floated up in my consciousness again, traveling around from place to place. And to be honest, I didn't really have any better ideas. I really didn't feel pulled or called at all to go get a place anywhere else. And so since it is something that I'm familiar with being on the road, I've traveled around the world and done a bunch of road trips. I decided that now is the time. And so that's when I decided, all right, I'm going to sell the place that I was living in. I am going to buy an RV and I am going to go all in on entrepreneurship because I have been side hustling and moonlighting this as what I believe is my part of my big life's purpose being the inspirer and author and speaker that I am but it's always been something that I have supported with the honey train the major paycheck from somebody else or the minor paycheck <laughs> but the truth is that I've never gone all in on trying to be an entrepreneur even though I've identified as an entrepreneur for many years so now that I have no job, no relationship, and need a new place to live, these are the paths that I'm going down right now. And this is what I take you along on, which is entering the uncharted waters of 100% entrepreneurship, relying on myself to build my own income to support myself, and living life in my house on wheels. Here's how it went. So I began creating. I had a vision that I was going to have a huge library of meditation videos to help all different ailments and frustrations that people endure in life. When I got back from creating all of those meditations, I finally found my RV. I named her Kali Phoenix. She's a 92 with 50,000 miles on it. And I went deep into editing all of those meditation videos and renovating Kali from top to bottom. 
Finally, after a ton of blood, sweat, and tears, my back going out, one breakdown, I hit the road. Going out, going on my own. All my faults are left behind. Going far, far away from home. Live it all for now, for another time. So now I'm on the road with my dog pajamas, seeing what I can find. You know, the truth is that I don't actually know why I'm on the road. I am only following my intuition and the messages that I feel like I've received that this is where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing right now. This can sometimes be super gratifying to follow my intuition. It can also be really frustrating and confusing. But here I am out on the road, enjoying my life in my tiny home on wheels, and I'm excited to share it with you along the way. We started our journey, of course, back in that spiritual and creative hub that I love, West Texas. Join me and subscribe so that you can follow our journey as we traverse the United States in this old girl, Kali Phoenix, full of creativity, joy, intuition, bumps along the way. And I am so grateful that you're here. Lots of love, Kate.